So why do you focus on men? Why do you focus on pastors? And you're not doing men and women or men, women, and children. Yeah. I, we focus on pastors because they are, as, they are very strategic. Well, and in our communities, the pastor is like the man around, the leader around. Our political leaders are away. They cannot help. Our administrators are in the offices, seated there. They cannot help. But the pastor is in the bush, walking around, helping people, visiting, praying for the people. And so we believe that he's one person who can help, uh, who can help in the villages, in the bushes out there, deep inside, because he walks almost everywhere. Yeah. So he's very strategic, and uh, this is our focus person. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you've mentioned a holistic ministry. Yep. Why did you decide to reach out in other dimensions instead of just doing the training? Um, the pastor is doing his work, but in such deep poverty. But he has a resource, which is the farm, the land. So we, tr we are training these people here, but they ask us questions. How can you help us? Like, one of the questions they ask is, uh, how can we get some capital to do ABCD or to do our farms? And that makes us realize there's a problem here. We have to train them how to work on their farms. Uh, first, by healing those farms first, because the farms are so depleted. They're so infertile. Yeah, they yeah. cannot produce. And uh, the next thing we're doing is, visit their homes and their families, their farms, to see how everything's working. Guess what we see? Um, very poisonous weeds. We just realized that uh, the farms, the soils, are actually unproductive. They're not producing. But when we look around, we can see all they need to heal that soil so it can produce. So we get into training them to, to mobilize, to collect this uh, needful material so they can, what we call, composts. Compost? Yeah, compost. What is, what is the material that's right there? We, we have shrubs, and they have also, some of them have cows. Uh. They can collect the, the dung, mm -hmm. and they mix with the shrub, and they decompose it. They dig a hole, and decompose it. Uh -huh. After some time, it's manure. It oh. is fertilizer, so they can use in the farms. That brings life uh -huh. to the soil. Yes. So we teach them through this. Um, we love to do that holistic part of ministry. Yes. And yes. they're so happy. Yes. They see hope. Right. Yeah. So when you train the pastors in this, the strategy is what? So that they can... So they can improve their farming skills. They can eat. They can eat and have food on the table. Besides having food on the table, they can also get into business. Yes. Because then if they get enough, they can put aside some to sell and take their kids to school. Ah. They can pay for, for school mm -hmm. and they can keep some for the food. Right. Yeah, so the pastors we are training, actually we are giving them all this information, the training. So when they get back to their regions, they can also gather other pastors and leaders and give them what you have given them. Train them in the farm work. Um, show them what they need to put in the soil so it can heal. Right. Yeah. And that goes back to why strategic or past the pastors are strategic mm -hmm. is because they're already leaders. Yes. People already listen to them. Mm -hmm. And now they have this new knowledge mm -hmm. of new life. Yes from the soil. Mm -hmm. And um, most of the people are farmers. They're farmers, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so. How many, what, what, what would you guess is the percentage of people that live in the bush, which whereas there's no power, utilities, flowing water, it's primitive. How many people live in the bush versus those that live in the cities? Okay. Yeah, in Kenya, uh, the people who live in the villages, in the rural, as compared to those in the cities, they're like 85%. Wow. 
Yeah. So many, many people live out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. Is it like that in all the countries? No, they're different. In some of the more poorer countries compared to Kenya, more like 90 and above. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That makes a lot of sense why you're there doing the work there, because yeah. that's where the people are, that's where the pain is, yes. that's where the poverty is being experienced every day. Mm-hmm. If you want to join us and in supporting, we, we invite you to visit Kenya, but also you can visit our website, that's www.principledbestleadership.org. Thank you so much, God bless you.